Hello, my name is Richard Lobb. In this brief video, I'd like to introduce you to the CodeRunner plugin for the Moodle Learning Management System. Like Moodle itself, CodeRunner is a free open source piece of software. It lets question authors, who are usually teachers, set questions in which the, they ask students to submit a piece of code to some specification. It handles lots of different programming languages and indeed lots of different question types. Let me just demonstrate a few features of it. So I'm demonstrating this on the site coderunner.org.nz. I have an account on that already. You can easily create one yourself by self-registering. It has some demo quizzes on it. I'm going to go straight into the first demo quiz, which is a Python 3 quiz, which I'm going to re-attempt. It's a typical Moodle quiz. It has a mixture of questions, which can be multi-choice information panels like this one here, and it can have matching questions, short answer questions, essay questions, and so on. But the important new question I'm introducing here is the code runner question. Here's an example. This is a somewhat verbose statement. There's the real question. It says, write a Python 3 function square of n that returns the square of its numeric parameter n. There's a bit more information here. Normally, as well, there is an information or an um, example table showing you how the code you're writing is going to be tested. In this case, it's a function. It's going to be tested by printing the value of the function given different parameters. Let me imagine that I am going to be a student who's not very good. I'm going to write the function square of n by saying return n. It's not a very good square function, is it? You'll see it fails all the tests, except the test for printing the square of 0, which it gets right. Nasty red color, don't like red. Let's fix the question up. It should have said return n times n. There it is, it goes green, which is hugely encouraging. And one of the nice things about Code Runner or Moodle quizzes in general, in fact, is that they give you this instant feedback, which is part of the general idea of gamification, making education fun, motivating, and interesting. So that was a very simple question. You can ask much more advanced questions. Here's a slightly more challenging function in which the student has to write a function run length and code, which takes a list of numbers and reduces it to, in this case, uh, the number 5 occurs three times, the number 10 occurs twice, and so on. We use Code Runner questions in our courses at the University of Canterbury for everything from simple exercises like this through assignments and final exams and tests. As I've said, you can use lots of different languages. So if we go to the home page again, there's a couple of extra quizzes here. I'll just briefly show you some C and Java. Here's a Java, uh, a C question, which is the equivalent of the one we just had. This one says write a C function with the signature int square of n, which, of course, is just more or less exactly the same. In fact, return n times n. In this case, I won't make a mistake. I'll run it directly and get the encouraging result. There's some Java questions here, the different flavors of Java question. Here's one that asks for a Java method with a particular signature. Here's one that asks for a Java class with certain specifications, a constructor, a couple of getter methods, and a, a mutator method, grow older. Here's one that asks for a Java program. A large number of other languages are supported. You can read the specifications for the plugin if you're interested, I'll just demonstrate one more thing by going back to the home page here. Oh, a couple more things. Here's a, an SQL question which asks for a query that returns, given a table like this, returns a, a list of the names, cities, and grades of any customers in certain cities ordered by name. There's the query result. And lastly, usually the questions in Code Runner are uh, simple programming questions, but there are other options. You can, in fact, ask any sort of question that you can grade by uh, writing your own program. It's also possible to ask questions like this one, where the answer isn't program text at all, but is actually a graph in the computer science sense. So this question, which is from a theory course, asks the students to construct a discrete finite state automaton that accepts the language generated by blah blah. You can read it if you like. And here's an example of a very simple one, which asks the student to draw a weighted graph with three nodes, A, B, and C, with certain properties. So I can do that by going A, B, and C. There's my three nodes. It says the path from A to B is of length three. The 
so I have to do that. The shortest path from A to C is of length 4, so I could put in one there, which in fact is the answer I'm expecting. I'm going to do that. And the shortest path from B to C is of length 1. We've got that. Shortest path from B to A is of length 5, so I have to have an edge coming back again, which is that. I can clean up my graph, make it look a little bit nicer by doing that with it. And then I've got two checks. I can pre-check it to make sure it satisfies the simple bits of the spec, such as the number of edges and the number of nodes. And then I can do the main bit of the check to make sure that the path lengths are all correct. So that's just given you some sort of flavor of what you can do with Code Runner. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing a follow-up video introducing you to the process of authoring simple Code Runner questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.